I miss him every day. I miss all the things that he's missed. Since the time they were little kids, Diane Baker Taylor and her brother Chris did everything together. He was my best friend. He was my best friend. Chris had dreams of joining the military, but in December 1988, when he was only 18, he and another teen were gunned down at a party in Roland Heights by gang member Howard Elwin Jones. Jones himself was just hours away from his 18th birthday at the time and had interpreted a red Santa hat as a symbol of the Bloods gang. The boy said, please don't shoot me, started to walk away, and that's when Mr. Jones fired at him and the crowd dispersed and as they dispersed my brother in the chaos ended up running right alongside um, Mr. Bond and they both um, died as a, a result of their injuries. Jones was later convicted of the two murders and has been locked up at San Quentin State Prison since 1991 initially on a sentence of 45 to life but Diane says after Governor Jerry Brown signed SB 260 into law in 2013 Jones became eligible for parole much sooner. State records show he was denied parole in both 2015 and 2017 but this morning at his third parole hearing Jones now 50 years old was found to be suitable for parole by the state and as part of DA George Gascon's reforms prosecutors from the LADA's office were not allowed to attend that hearing with Baker's family to advocate that Jones stay behind bars. To not have that today made a, a huge difference like I, we felt like we were we were on our own little island. It was very frustrating, and it's not fair. Nobody should have to go through this alone. The California Department of Corrections tells me in part, quote, Howard Elwin Jones was granted parole suitability today by the Board of Parole Hearings at his third hearing. Jones is eligible for youth offender parole. The proposal is not final. Grants of parole suitability are subject to a 120-day review period. I'm extremely frustrated and angry. How do you put a price on a human life, let alone two human lives? This guy can go free after killing two people and have a life, and he still gets to talk to his family? No, nope, I'm not cool with it at all. In response, George Gascon's office tells Fox 11 that Sam Quentin has the best rehabilitative programs in the state. And quote, in any case where an individual committed a crime as a 17-year-old, the parole board will take into consideration the fact that a teenager's behavioral and cognitive abilities were not fully developed when he committed the crime. After more than three decades in prison, it is likely that the parole board has determined that this individual is not the same person as when he was 17. Yeah, but Diane says man. Jones showed no remorse at the hearing that today man. and had his own public defender with him, while the family had nobody. It's isolating. You feel alone. You don't feel like you have anybody in your corner. The victim's voice needs to be heard. Today, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva sent George Gascon this letter, notifying him that he will begin sending LASD detectives to parole hearings as long as Gascon keeps blocking his own prosecutors from attending them. Victims should never, ever be alone. They need to have somebody with them in these adversarial settings where they have to come into contact with the same person who victimized them or killed their loved one, for example. Why on earth would we want them to be alone in this process? In response, Gascon's office tells us in part, sheriff's deputies, like prosecutors, do not have all the pertinent facts and evaluations at their disposal. The parole board does. I'd say, uh, well, they need to think twice about that because all the facts that they have, we gave them to them because we're the one that do the initial investigation. We're the one that do the follow-up investigation. So the entire case file that they get, they get it from us. I don't understand Mr. Gascon how you can do this to families there are others out there that are going to be going through the same thing and it's not fair that they don't have the rights that the criminals do how dare you Howard Jones has been behind bars for approximately 32 years now, and his parole is not set in stone yet. The state tells me it's ultimately going to be up to Governor Gavin Newsom to either uphold the decision or reverse it at the end of the review period. In West L.A., Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.